Hello, hello. This is GTA Online. This is the Xbox 360 version, which I've been ranking up my character on uh, by doing solo stuff and mainly a lot of races. That is where I came across this race. Where uh, let me just turn the radio off there because we don't want the radio on and you want the traffic off uh, you're best to use motorcycles because there are some narrow bridges so a bit of a pro tip there use more, uh, motorcycles because if you use cars and especially when there's like eight of you racing it really is the first one to get to the bridge now this is a replay because uh, I done goofed on the first one, <laughs> on the first playthrough. So, this is kind of a take two. Uh, so at the end, obviously I won't get as many RP. You normally get, I think it's 775... Uh, we get 775 RP and you get something like 4 grand or something like that. So you get a, you get a lot of money, you get uh, you get some decent RP and stuff so by the way that, that's the Mental Gamers crew colour which you'll see I'm kind of thinking of changing my crew to one to do with Mental Gamers uh, Mental Gamers Men, MG Ace Man Gaming which is completely different colours uh, so here we go, I've picked a pretty fast bike just to get it through because this, as you may have seen, oh and he gets the boost again, uh, as you may have seen uh, in that screen just 11.6 miles, this is probably most likely the longest race in GTA, uh, in GTA Online, whatever, on GTA Online. Uh, the idea, basically, is just to ride the whole train track all the way around the map, I'm guessing. I mean, it does seem to go on for ages, and I think it pretty much does. Now, because of... Uh, because of the way dirt works in the game, you do tend to go pretty slow. So the whole point of it, as it mentioned, as the title of the the race suggests, ride the tracks. Because obviously, if you ride on a the smooth track, you're going to go faster. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the idea of. The, this race or this track even whatever uh, as you can probably see at the bottom right there it says a world record of 6 minutes 35 seconds well as we all know that whenever they create uh, these races they always give them such an unrealistic uh, world record time why? I don't know I mean, what, what, what's, what's the point of that, really? <laughs> I mean, I mean, why give it such a, a kind of unreachable world record time when that sort of spoils the, the fun a little bit? I mean, I, I know that the whole point of the fun is to, is to race, obviously. Um, but when the world record is so, as I say, unobtainable, it kind of makes it a bit unfair, you know, because, I, I must admit, I think, never think about it, I reckon more people would probably be more likely to, I don't know, do the races if they knew they had a chance of getting on a leaderboard. So, there we go. Anybody at Rockstar watching this, how about some leaderboards for the races? 
make it a bit of a challenge, get more people playing them. Instead of just shooting each other and being dicks all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah. As I say, this is the Xbox 360 version which I picked up pre owned for 15 British pounds. And one of the reasons for that was if they do. The upgrade thing, where with uh, such as the Xbox One being next gen, uh, what they did with some games is that you could upgrade from the old game for just ten pound. Now I don't know if that was like retailer specific or it was a thing that like Xbox or Rockstar did. I don't know. Um, but basically, yeah. I mean, if you can upgrade. It means then, really, that you know, I've bought it, will only have cost me like 25 pounds, uh, but for the Xbox One version. And the reason, another reason why I would like, prefer to get the Xbox One version is because, as I said, that it seems that's the version most people who I'm friends with on Twitter and a lot of YouTubers tend to play. Not that many seem to play the PlayStation version, which don't know why it's the same game. They're pretty much the same graphics. There's nothing particularly different. I think the only thi the only difference I think really is when it comes to recording stuff like this. The quality is a bit better, but saying that, it depends. It's a different kind of difference in quality. If you know what I mean? With the Xbox 360 version, I've noticed dark bits are really pixelated, and I, I used to think that was the YouTuber who did that. He was, well, the YouTuber was re um, rendering at the wrong rate. And apparently it's not. It is the actual game where you see these uh, dark pixelated bits. So, and that that could be to do with the recording device. I mean, in this case, it's I'm using the Elgato, and I, I don't think it's to do with whatever HDMI lead you use. I mean, I'm just using. The HDMI cable that came with the Elgato and the one that's going into the TV's gold plating. I don't think that really makes a difference. I'm not sure it might do, but you never know. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully, if they do do that upgrade option, then I, I'd hopefully then I'll be able to play with people who, like I say, who are now. And, and maybe like you know, have a bit more fun and get get some good videos recorded and stuff like that. You know, right? because at the moment, I mean, <laughs> at the moment, I, I'm a bit of a loner. <laughs> I mean, I, I created my crew and everything, and I think what it was because of not playing the Xbox 360 version, where the rest of but people that I knew was, then I think that's kind of it. Plus, I mean, I was about a, I don't know, say about a month later than everybody else. But the thing was, at the time, I didn't get Xbox Live because I had no need for it. I wasn't really playing online in that. Um, I didn't really care about the games with gold. I kind of still don't anyway because they're not that good. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, I kind of thought, yeah, I, I think it may be worth, in the long run, to. Uh, 
to get the Xbox 360. If any, if anybody's still playing it, which I have asked on Twitter, then you know I'd like to join them and do stuff and whatever. But nobody seems to really reply back. Kind of like, like what is it? Like sh shouting down the hallway or something? <laughs> There's nobody there. So uh, yeah, the other corners is uh, coming up to the checkered flag, and I am at. Oh, it's actually going to be a bit quicker than before. About eight and a half minutes compared to just over nine. Ta da! And so there we go. Oh, finished first. <gasps> so, oh, lots of money. Wow, eight hundred and seventy-five. Now that was more RP than before. So what? The more you play this one, the more RP you get. That seems a bit backward. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, RRP 775. But it just said that I got 875. How did I get an extra 100? So, there we go. Uh, that's that. That's probably, as I say, the longest uh, race in GTA Online. Um, if you have stuck with me for this long, I thank you very much for watching and listening to my babbling. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope possibly to see you online sometime and maybe have some fun rather than just seeing me and killing me. You know what I mean? So, uh, once again, thank you for watching. Join me next time. And bye-bye for now.